Hi guys, so we're continuing from where we stopped in the other video. So sit back, relax and continue watching. Thank you. Because, and I said to you, okay, we'll give you this visa. Don't be telling me in four to six, what in four to six, you're telling me no. We can't tell it's you a that. Long time. So she's like, okay, so this is da 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 da. I'm like, okay. I did. Okay, yeah, she asked me if I was learning German. I'm like, yeah, I mean, I use this app called, I'm not going to say the name, it's not sponsored. No, I won't call the name, but I use this app. I'm learning, you know, basic, but my program is 100% in English. Mm -hmm. And she says, okay. So she gives me that, and then I left. Pretty much, very. It was not that straightforward because that question they asked me heat. <laughs> I was sweating in the cold. Remember, I was morning January, like it's hamatan. So morning is cold. I I sweated because that question. Hmm. But yeah, that was all she asked me. And then um, I actually now heard from people later on that it doesn't necessarily take four to six weeks. That it could be less. Really? Yes. So it they took said, me more. So they were like, if I wait till three weeks. And I had not gotten any information from them. I should send because there was an application number on that slip that I was given. And she sent an email with that application number saying that I, was, I wanted like status update on my visa. Mm -hmm. So I waited three weeks. There was literally nothing from them. And I was panicking because other people were telling me, oh, I got my own in three weeks. Ah, in one month I got mine. I was just like, but they said it's four to six weeks. <laughs> they said, don't wait. Like, you Nigerian people don't like to wait. So... <laughs> That's what, and I sent this email to them. Are you serious? And then, um, that was three weeks later, I sent the email to them. And uh, after sending the hmm. email, I waited, and then I got an email that says um, that I should bring my passport, I should bring uh, travel insurance. Yeah, I should bring my passport, my travel insurance, and um, the date of intended, tra intended travel. And that was it. Next day... I walked into a summer side <laughs> office, bought travel insurance with my passport, put dates that I wanted to travel. I went to the embassy. Okay, you went and I gave, because embassy. I was already I was in Lagos. So mm -hmm. yes, I went to the, normally they can you can ship it to them. Mm -hmm. So I just went to the embassy, submitted it at the gate. I didn't have to enter inside mm -hmm. and then submitted it at the gate. And I think two days later I went back to Port Harcourt and in like four days they sent you over. My passport, passport and all my documents and that was it. I had my visa. Guys. No hmm. stress. Anyway, the thing is we had like very different okay, not hundred percent different, mm -hmm. but yeah, but quite different experiences. Okay, so for me I applied from um China. China. Yeah. And then did you go to the consulate or to the embassy itself? Because I know they usually have the German consulate and then the German I think embassy. German consulate is in Abuja. Uh, there is the embassy that is in, in, in I shall wear that in, in Lagos, <laughs> the one in Lagos. I don't know. There are okay. two. One is the Abuja one is Lagos. I went to that thing that is in Lagos. Whatever it is, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so for me, I went to the embassy in Hong Kong in Shanghai, not Shanghai, in Beijing. Because mm -hmm. I know that they have, yeah, they have um, the embassy in Shanghai and they mm -hmm. have the one in Beijing. But then normally they'll tell you to go to the one that's closest to you. And the one okay. that's closest to me was the one in Beijing. So they have the German consulate and the German embassy. embassy. Please, when you're going for this, you should go to the German embassy, not the consulate. Because you have to do the interview, of course. So when I got to the, it was in the morning, my dear. Hmm. I, I, I traveled to, or I traveled from my city to um, Beijing. I think it was the no i came with the night before because you know it's an interview i needed to be prepared so i stayed with my friend in beijing <laughs> mj if you're watching this thank you so much for hosting me like i'm always going to have anywhere i have to travel to yeah. anywhere i have to go to embassies yes. and the rest yeah so i was always thinking i was always staying with her so um i now went to i went to um the embassy that morning and the way the, the place is situated it's a little it's not you can't use bus to enter there, so you have okay. to walk. Because I now have car now, you know, people should buy me a car. But, <laughs> but I had to walk, it was quite a distance. And then, like, where it is, there are different countries, embassies. There. I saw a lot of countries, embassies. So, if you're, maybe if you have an interview and you're walking and you're not seeing any embassy around there, please, maybe you're going to a different place. You have to, you have to, I'm sure that I saw the embassy of Senegal. There, yeah, right. yeah, so okay. on the on the road, yeah. So when we got there, there are other people that are coming to you know apply for their own visas, uh, as well. 
and we were all waiting. I think my, my appointment was by nine-ish, but I was there by eight thirty-ish because you know we have to be on time. <laughs> yeah, so when I got there, before you even come into the embassy, the security guys were they'll ask you, Are you do you have all your money? Do you have mm -hmm. everything? If you don't have, go to the ATM or there's yeah. an ATM around mm -hmm. because yeah. if yeah. you yeah. enter, this one is not, I want to go out and I forgot to buy it or gum, yeah. I forgot to <laughs> you don't money, I forgot. Once you enter, you've entered. Mm -hmm. If you leave, you have left. left. If you the appointment. <laughs> honestly, if you, if you feel like you want to do something and you don't have everything ready mm -hmm. and you leave, you have to book a whole new appointment. Point and believe me, to get an appointment is so difficult. Like you have to wait for a very because you know people that people want to travel. You're not the only one that wants to travel. Yeah. So by the time you check, maybe the appointment for the whole month is already booked. Mm -hmm. You now have to check for a free one. And who knows when you're tra you're traveling is supposed to be. So you have to make sure that opportunity you already have. So when you check, and it's, it's, it's not just about having the money. You also have to have change. <laughs> This, this general number change is change is important. So. <laughs> you have to have change it. because mm, hey. very necessary. So, so when we finally got in, the place was actually quite. It was nice, but it was small. You know, I was expecting maybe a very, but it was very very small. It was very cozy kind of. So we got in. I we took our numbers because of course the number will be shown. Like you go somewhere and then you take a card like. How do you say it? Like you go and then they print a print number something. for you. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Depend you know, in the queue kind of yeah, so they take your own number. Mm -hmm. So and then you not check on the screen when you know your number is being called, blah blah blah. When they call your number, you go to the windows and they attend to you there. Mm -hmm. So when they called my own number, I went to they went to the first window. So the lady that took my document, she saw everything I had with me and made sure that okay, everything was complete. When I finished from there, you know, she kept asking me to for my school because I was already in school, right? And I was coming to tell her I'm going to another school mm -hmm. too. And you know, sometimes again they add, they want to find out why you're doing this course. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to do this course? That was also part of the in the, my interview question. But she had, let me just keep that this one side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she took my document. She looked. She looked through everything. She was sure everything was okay. And you know, before I before I went there, it's always better to go with everything and more and more extra. Yeah, because sometimes there's some things that. They won't stay on the website probably because your case is different. Because for me now, I, I applied as a, as a Nigerian mm -hmm. in China. So there are some things that they'll ask a Chinese person to bring that mm -hmm. I didn't have. You get. Um, so what I did was that I first of all looked at the website of what they wanted yeah, from a Nigerian. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I came with all those documents, even though they were not required for the Chinese, Chinese. especially okay. when it comes to YX. I had to print my YX certificate, mm -hmm. although they didn't ask for a YX certificate in the Chinese yeah. website. So I had to go to a Nigerian website, check for. The, brought everything there mm -hmm. and gave them because you don't want to have a second experience of going and, and coming, coming back, back. Oh. so i went i showed them everything and it was you know they, she, she looked at it and she was like okay everything is okay and then she now she now directed me to where i was going to have the interview she told me i should just wait for like 10 to 15 minutes and i was going to have an interview the person that interviewed me was this very gorgeous german lady I don't know, it was my first time seeing you know, a German German. And she was so beautiful. Oh, I still okay. remember her face. <laughs> she, was she was so glimpses. I was like, ah, no, no, no. I was going to this country. We hey, have entered. <laughs> and she was so nice. And she didn't ask me a lot of questions. So she just asked me, okay, so um, you're studying Chinese. And why are you going to Ch uh, Germany to mm -hmm. study international business? Ha. And I had to give her a story of my life. How I feel like the German business industry. <laughs> <laughs> you will become a preacher, guys. Huh? You <laughs> have to, and you have to speak have very to, intelligently yeah. because you cannot just be telling them, hey, them. I just, I, I just applied to school, and you want no. Mm -hmm. You have to be very. I just strategic. want a certificate. No, no, everybody wants a, a lot of people want a certificate. Why yeah, should you? Why should you get that? Get that opportunity. Yeah. You have to so you have to be very strategic. So I told them that. See, I'm already studying business, so I need something like that can back sorry I, I was already studying languages mm -hmm. chinese and i had like um a degree in english right mm -hmm. then you to have something that would back it up well so that when i could present my case you know you will get it very, very <laughs> imagine imagine coming to you like as a business 
However, like say, as a business person, right? Person. And I can speak Chinese, English. You know, you give me. You more, already know what it is. You get for, like the whole Chinese market. Like yeah. you know that. Ah. So I I just explained that to her, and then she was like, okay, yes. And then she now asked me for my um certificate, like this enrollment letter, to show that I was already enrolled in school. Yeah. yeah. So I gave it to her, and she now saw it, and she saw that. I had a scholarship. I had like a twenty percent scholarship at my school because oh, okay. the school fees was there. Eh? Hey, <laughs> more chest, chest pain. <laughs> so I needed a scholarship. Oh, yeah. hey. So she now she now said, "I should like, okay, you have a twenty percent scholarship." I told her, "Yes." She now said, "Okay, fine." She now asked for the blocked account thing. I'm going to sponsor myself and the rest. Mm -hmm. So I gave her my blocked account. She looked at it. She was like, "Okay," and it felt that it was okay and there was no problem. And she didn't she didn't ask me a lot of questions. It was just mm -hmm. like. Very I wonder if it's another political part. <laughs> she didn't ask me anything regarding Jamie because, wow. to be quite honest, I had no idea. <laughs> I didn't even prepare for that. I was like, okay, I'm going to talk about Berlin is in Germany. <laughs> mm, Berlin, no, it's in Kapancha. <laughs> it's in Kapancha. What? <laughs> I just came. I just came like normal, prepared, like nothing out of the extraordinary, <laughs> nothing like politics and ah, no. But I, of course, I knew the basics now, yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. the, um, so she just asked me, so she just asked me like very basic questions: how long you're going to stay, and how you're going to sponsor yourself. And I explained all those things to her. This was very much easy. And, then, and I'm wondering, a German was asking like, me this thing, and a Nigerian was asking me all these plenty, plenty things. Ah, uh, hmm. I think that's the thing. For for a German, is more like like they kind of really know the know know it like they're very well grounded so mm -hmm. they don't necessarily have to ask you those deep questions for them to try be to get you through yeah. or to be convinced um about what your intent but for a nigerian it's more like they're looking at you like hey, i'm in a nigerian too what i know you that <laughs> you feel a lie yeah so it's more like they want to drill you and drill mm -hmm. it for you to convince them so i yeah. think that that was why i had that whole situation mm -hmm. and honestly Thinking about it now, that I could say that when they asked me what I knew about them, I said that they are known for potato and sausages. <laughs> I am stupid. I agree. So stupid. So you want to go to a country and the only thing is that they eat potato. I'm like, are you stupid? Are you stupid? But yeah, God, my like, God. It's God, though. So, and, and I feel if it, if it was me, me, I wouldn't even give myself the visa because. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, just think about it. They're known for curry bones now. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Sausages and, and potatoes. It's not the only thing that I'm bread. I'm, I'm ah. bread. So I try. I mean, I, I did my research. Yeah. I did my research. So Please I don't beat yourself up. You tried. Thank you. Thank but the good thing is at least I didn't have all this stress. Right. Okay. <laughs> I didn't have all this stress at all. Mm -hmm. So after the interview, it was just a very short song. I was expecting more. But it didn't was too prepared. She was looking for more. Me, I want more less. Yes, I think more. She was like, okay, fine. And then she she told me, of course, you're going, going to get me the visa. You're going to give me yeah. four to six weeks. Oh. But they took my passport though. Oh, okay. Yeah, they took my passport, and I didn't do any UPS, um, Korea Korean bag thing okay. because most times, like, most of the embassies in in China, uh -huh. they have this um, alliance with some of the Korea services. Yeah. yeah, in the country mm -hmm. as well. So the thing is that you just pay for it. Oh, so like you they... pay there. Yes, no, yes. I mean, like thinking about it, DHL is a German company, but they don't want to be. They, they don't want they like want that. that link. They don't want to to you to pay them and then they pay pay your own thing because pretty much the courier services just come there every day. I think, mm -hmm. or they don't. Know, I don't know how many days because the times that I went to that embassy, I always saw like the okay. DHL mm -hmm. boss come there to pick up. Um, passes, which of course are people's documents and um, passports, and then they take it. So it's more like they know you've sorted it out. This you just come take it and go. We have no mm. business with it. So I think that's what they were trying to do. No, for us in China, it was like a whole different thing. Mm. We, we we didn't even imagine going to look for a Korea. We didn't so even do that. How much did you pay like for the Korea service? For the Korea then, service, I think it's for the Korea services was like. 68 yen or so then for the visa okay. itself it was like 650 something and i can't really remember or what yeah that was what it was like and then at the end hmm, she said that she said that has took like uh, three Pretty weeks, much four after, weeks yeah, yeah after after three, after the third three week weeks. she sent yes, them an, email. an email yeah hmm. for me i remember very well because i had to leave i was told to leave china because i already graduated yeah but i couldn't leave because my passport was in the embassy okay and then 